Here we have a new catcher that we're working on our blocking technique. You can see right out the gate, as most young catchers do, we have a history of pulling that glove up like an infielder as that ball is starting to come into our body. So one of the things we're gonna work on is getting our stance wider and working on getting our glove down to the right position to start the block. So one of the things that we wanna start with is making sure we're getting our glove down and deep. So with the blocking buddy here, as soon as that glove goes down and in to block and we pull it in, it's gonna lock us in that position. So it's gonna help our catchers get a better feel for where the glove needs to go. And then also when it gets down there, how to teach us how to keep the glove down and let the ball get into us. So right here, we're just working on the basic fundamentals of getting our glove nice down and deep. So as soon as that glove gets deep and it locks, it's gonna hold us into that position. So now when the ball comes in, we don't pull our glove up to get out of the way. So now we're gonna start throwing the balls in at them and get that feel for where the glove needs to go and how to use our body. Notice we're starting on our knees because the first thing we have to do is get a feel for where our glove needs to get to. If our glove doesn't get deep enough, it's always gonna be moving around because your brain is gonna tell you to try to catch it. But when we get that glove down and deep, now we're gonna be in a better position mentally to keep our body in front and it's gonna hold our glove into that position. So you notice here, now we're getting to our feet and we're working on the same thing over and over. I'm a big muscle memory believer. The more we can do something repetition wise, the easier it'll start to translate to the game. So now we get here to the end after using the blocking buddy for about 15, 20 minutes and we're working on getting that glove down and deep. We notice some little things where we got to protect that bare hand, but our stance getting wider is going to put us in a more athletic position to move side to side. But the biggest thing here is getting to that position and then that glove going nice down deep and then we're going to hold it into that position right there. When we can hold our glove down, now our shoulders can help control the blocks. So blocking is difficult to do. If you have any issues with it, send me uh, an email or a message. I would love to answer questions that help you accomplish your goals of being a blocker. And if you